I love walking up this lane with the bird song. As I get closer, the birds stop singing. Well, you kind of stop singing. Where are you? I can't see you. It's a little robin. It's so tiny, I can't find it. Hidden in the mesh of branches. Look at the ferns all along the top of the wall. I love that. Okay, I better go call the yo lambs to come into the shed. Blackbird. And they're nowhere in sight. Hopefully they didn't jump the wall or the fence. All of the sheep are gone. Oh dear, oh dear. Where have they hidden themselves? Oh look, oh wonderful. They're all lying up against the wall, sheltered from this cold wind. I don't know if you can see, just right there. They're all sheltered from the wind, tucked in and they have a bit of sun. That's exactly what you like to see. I couldn't see them because there's a little curve in the hill and they're all lying down, cozy. Ah, oh, that's lovely. And that was the whole intent of getting, of um, resurrecting that old wall it was as a windbreak for both the old apple trees and the sheep. Somebody's missing. And I give you one guess who it is. Okay. Yes. I hear you, my beautifuls. Ooh, the wind is picking up. You had the best spot and I disturbed you. But I'm thinking that there's a stuck sheep in a fence over here. Yeah, they're all coming to tell me. They're going, look, look, look. Come look. She's stuck in the fence. Ah, Crystal, you clever girl. Crystal's like going, look, look, I'm not following you. There's a stuck sheep. Our nanny, Ebony, is stuck in the fence. Oh, you silly girl. Very precarious. You silly, silly billy goat. Really, Ebony? Oopsie daisy. I think this is going to be a two handed job. Go away. 
What have you done? <laughs> you really have. Just no. Go away. <laughs> I've got to show you what's behind me. My audience watching me. Ebony, yeah, Egypt. You really do have yourself stuck. Okay. Hey, girls. Okay. There we go. You absolute that Egypt. Why do you always do that to me, Ebony? Ah. Oh. Hey, girls. Come on, Ebony. Are you coming? Come on, girl. Come on. Atta girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. They were all loyally sticking with Ebony while she was stuck in the fence. Daft tart. All these girls are growing up really, really well. They're beginning to look nice. Aren't they, Crystal? Aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, girls. Before the weather completely changes, let's get you down to where it's cozier with your short fleeces. This is why I'm bringing them in. Normally they'd be fine outside all the time, but they were shorn so late. And Ebony has so much of her fleece missing because she got fly strike. Hey, Crystal. Come on, girls. Come on. Now, they do have that hay shed, but the wind is going to be fierce cold. So, this is just an ultra protection. Out of girls. Come on. Gates open. There's no food, sorry. Inca, 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 leave them be. Okay, ladies. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Everybody's here. Ebony says, I know where we're going. Inca, Inca, Inca. Leave it. Now, Ebony, I'm going to let you leave you guys out to do a nibble of grazing. And all the gates to the lean to will be open so you can go in and get shelter. Okay, babies. How's my babies? Yeah. 
Okay. Come on. Okay, leave it. Maya, Maya. Oh dear. Oi, Maya. Good girl. Ebony's already coming back and say, hey, wait a minute. Have you forgot something? I haven't forgotten anything, Ebony. You've got a peck of grass here and there's no fence for you to get, well, there are fences for you to get your head stuck in, but I think there's so much green grass here that you won't get your head stuck in the fence again. Very annoying of you. Lambs are already inspecting that the shed gate is open. And in they go. There's no food in there. There goes little Crystal. They probably smell all the other sheep in there as well. Yeah, nobody's there. No extra food, not yet. And the alpaca are there. So they will have a peck of grazing and then I'll put them in the shed later. The skies are blue. But the wind is picking up and is very cold. Isn't that right? Very cold. Oh, bless you. Now, go and have a peck of food and please don't get your head stuck in the fence. She says, I don't care what you say. I'm going to do what I want to do, no matter what you say. Isn't that right? You're such a bold beast. Really bold, yo. Yes, you. You are a bold you. And you're not coming through this gate. Okay? 